we don't have prospective studies saying whether or not depressed patients have more cancer than non-depressed patients, but what we do have are data which is beyond any doubt that depressed patients have less immune reactivity. And we know today that patients where we can enhance immune reactivity will have a better control of the cancer that is already there. So you can then say, well, if they had a better immune reactivity, maybe a depressed patient would not have had the cancer. And it's interesting, many, many, many years ago, there was a study in France, which was unfortunately not followed up, where psychologists were asked to determine in patients coming in for consultation with a suspect nodule in the breast, they were asked to say, is this patient depressed or not? Is this patient a patient that might have a profile for cancer? And the study actually said, Yes, the psychologists were able to say that there was a higher risk that nodule would be cancer in the depressed types of patients. Regrettably, it was never followed up. And there were other studies like that. So we have a, a clue that, yes, depression is a factor that might be leading to a higher cancer risk. But what about a patient that has a diagnosis of cancer? So there are two situations. One, the patient is already a depressed patient. Second is that the patient has a depressive reaction to the cancer. We can treat both situations. There's no need not to treat, and actually we should. We know that there are some antidepressants that could maybe, it's not certain, have a negative interaction with a main anti-cancer drug. In some breast cancer, we use a drug called tamoxifen, and there might be a negative interaction with some antidepressants. Everyone knows that, so we know which ones to use. The point is that while many studies show that at least 20%, if not more, breast cancer patients have real depression, oncologists are not accustomed at asking the questions, at looking at the patient and realizing that actually this patient's negative reaction to what is being said is because the patient is depressed. And we have to collaborate with our colleagues. If we don't have the expertise, we don't have the training, we have to collaborate with our colleagues in order to diagnose this patient and give the benefit of a better quality of life because a depressed patient has a dramatic quality of life. And this is being done in many countries, but what I insist upon, don't just prescribe a pill to, to support the patient. If you cannot give some psychological support, have a team that can give the psychological support.